is the Schwinn tricycle. And as you can see, Jackson is on it right now. Um, we've had this one for about six months or so right now, and it's not really that much of a hit. And as you can see, he gets off it pretty quickly because he's actually fallen off of it. The bike itself has tipped over a couple times. And so the purpose of this review is just to let you know that it's not a, a one that we recommend for multiple reasons. One, um, the, the wheel base is not actually that wide. This is common in a lot of tricycles. If you have a toddler who's around Jack's size, around 38 inches, you may want to consider a big wheel instead where you get a wider wheel base. You still get those three wheels for the tricycle, but you have a wider wheel base and a more um, a lower seat, so you have a lower center of gravity. The higher center of gravity on tricycles, uh, and this will go for the radio flyer, the smart trike, things of that nature, these tend to tip over if you move them a certain way. And um, so that's kind of a, a big negative in my book. And of course, whenever they're riding a the bike, they should wear a helmet if possible. The benefits of the tricycle is if the child is not large enough uh, to pedal on their own, which is the case with a lot of tricycles when you get small children, they could put their feet uh, right down in this area right here, and that would allow you then to push from the back. But this, this, this is so flimsy and such cheap plastic that it's just, it's not even really that great. So um, again, unfortunately, although this, um, this looks nice and, and some people uh, may like the Schwinn uh, name, and I do as well too, I can't recommend this particular bike because it does tend to tip over. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for it.